All right, let's take a little bit of time and talk about a concept that we honestly take for granted probably every single day, and that's life. So if you guys have been following me, you know that I have taken my longest break ever from content since 2020. I haven't posted a YouTube video or a TikTok in months. I haven't streamed but maybe four or five times in the last five or six months. And this was honestly all at a time where I was starting to get brand deals. I was starting to be a part of sponsored content. So honestly, many people were probably asking the question, why the break? what happened, and probably the most important one, am I coming back? So let's take a step all the way back to 2020 where this all initially started. Honestly, whenever I first started live streaming, it was just purely because I was trying to kill some downtime from whenever COVID hit the entire world and at the time I was in college. So while I was playing video games, I was like, sure, why not? Let's just hit the go live button and see what happens. And it quickly evolved into making a really cringy TikTok that honestly, if I scroll up to the very start of my TikTok, I, I just truly hate watching them. But anyways, I started posting some gaming clips, just some highlights of me messing around on the game, me and my buddies, stuff like that. And then it was one comment and one Instagram DM that absolutely changed the entire course of this channel and this community. And honestly, it changed my perspective on what I could do with this channel, just even with the small platform that I had built. I could truly make impacts on people. I could help people through maybe some of the toughest times in their life. And most importantly, I could create bonds with people that have eventually turned into honestly like little brothers that I had never had. So fast forward all the way to now, 2024, and coming off my biggest break ever. And while content has taken a back seat here in the last like four or six months, I've still stayed in touch with my community across multiple ways. And I've even taken a couple trips to meet some of these guys IRL. Some of them for the first time, some of them for a second time. And that's actually where I'm sitting at right now because you guys don't recognize any of this background. This is in a hotel up in the Detroit area where I came up here to help coach a kid in a national bowling tournament and come hang out IRL with him and one of his buddies. So a couple weekends ago, I took a memorable weekend trip to Pennsylvania where I met up with the legend Airflow and surprised him at his high school graduation party. That weekend was honestly just so surreal, just from the phone call that I gave him the day before being like, hey, I'm actually showing up, I'm hopping on a plane later tonight, to me and him actually meeting up IRL and just the reaction on his face and not only his face, but his friend's face whenever, you know, they see an online person actually show up and meet up in real life. I mean, they just honestly thought that was one of the coolest things ever. Literally an online friend from hundreds of miles away made the trip for a weekend just for a high school graduation party and hang out for the weekend. And we rode jet skis down in the Pittsburgh Bay. We went and ate at some of the coolest places and honestly just chilled out for a weekend. It was honestly just Perfect. Then now at the time of writing this script and talking with you guys, I'm sitting in a hotel room, like I said, up in the Detroit area. And this is where I came to help not kid at his national bowling tournament. And his IRL friend and one of my buddies online, Auntie showed up for a couple days. And we've made some of the coolest memories, just literally hanging out for the week, just chilling out. I mean, we were stuck in a bowling alley, yes, for a few hours every single day. But in our off time, we went, we rode some go-karts, got some frozen yogurt. Of course, I showed these kids how to actually drive go-karts. But I mean, honestly, we just made so many unforgettable and irreplaceable memories just over this last week. And all of this never would have been possible if it wasn't for the platform that I had built, even though it is small. So amongst all this good, why did the break happen? Well, out of all the poor excuses that I can come up with, it's really just life in general that have kind of taken me away from content for a little bit. Work has been going through an insanely tough stretch, and if you're really close to me in my community and talk to me on a daily basis still, they understand how bad work has been recently with overtime hours, me taking on added responsibilities, just a lot of drama that's going on at work right now. And to be brutally honest, I really thought that my community was slowly falling apart. Now the work topic's a whole nother conversation that we won't even get into, but as far as the community thing, that's honestly just my mind taking another situation to the total extreme. So whenever a lot of these kids started tuning in, they were honestly around the ages of 13 to 15. And here we are three to four years later down the road, and there's some of them graduating high school, some of them getting close to it. They're getting their licenses. They're starting to hang out with friends more. Girlfriends, some of them better than others. It's honestly just their life taking them separate ways right now. I mean, I can only imagine, you know, how some of them are feeling literally coming off of COVID, 
finally getting a freedom back in the world and get your license within the next year or two. Now you're just literally wanting to go out and go out and go out. So they're honestly all growing up and it's one of those things that I can't say I was really ready for. Like I said, most of these guys were literally my little brothers that I had never had. And there was a good stretch around the 2020, 2021 era and even going into 2022 where we were spending countless nights online together all the way through the night watching the sunrise and a part of me taking a third shift job where I work straight midnights, I took some of that ability away along with them just growing up and moving on in life. So honestly, over the last months and really especially in the last few weeks where I've been taking these trips, I've had to reflect kind of on why I started this whole thing in general and why I still do it. And even though my little bros literally aren't on every single night, that doesn't mean that they haven't forgot anything that happened or anyone from the community, especially where it all started. And that comes back to me. We all don't go down the same paths in life. And sometimes the best of friendships are the ones that can distance themselves. And even whenever you don't talk to each other for days, weeks, months, but whenever you guys get back together, it's literally like you guys have never missed a beat. Like it's just that perfect of a bond. All I've ever wanted to be was not only an influence to these kids and help them get through some of the toughest times in their life possibly, but to be a good example of the online world that has a bad rep of it being scary and people trying to take advantage of kids. And trust me, those fears are never going to go away. The online is a scary place. And as a part of that community, trust me, there's still just plenty of sketchy spots. And there's plenty of things for parents to be worried about and scared about. I mean, these two trips here, honestly, that I've taken IRL to meet some of these buddies, I can only imagine what their parents are feeling, you know? Like, I'm basically a total stranger to them. And for them to build that trust with me over the first couple days that we had been around each other up here, and they had so much trust in me that literally I took me and just the two kids and we went and hung off by ourselves. The parents weren't even there. But with all that being said, I wanted to kind of be the anomaly. I wanted to be part of the small percentage of that community that actually is out there, you know, for a good influence and be an example of how we can just bring people together from hundreds of miles away that never would have met each other if it wasn't for an online community. So I've answered a couple questions from earlier, but the big one still is, am I coming back? I truly believe after this week and the trip a few weeks ago, I feel like I am ready to come back. Now to the capacity of how much I will come back, is yet to be determined because I got to basically relearn my time management. I got to work making videos back into my schedule that honestly is so whack right now. I gotta be able to make sure that I can stay focused and stay organized on my task at hand. That way I can get these videos out whenever I need to. But even though there might be more trips in between now and then, there's still one trip that I cannot wait to happen. Probably looking at the bare minimum of a two year time frame before it does happen. But I think it would be a disservice to the kid that made the first comment and the first Instagram DM if I bailed for good before that trip happened. It's been a trip that honestly we've been planning for a year, a couple years now. We just gotta wait for the right time to be able to make the trip happen. And whenever it does happen, it's going to be a long one. I really think it's gonna be one of the most memorable IRL meetups you've ever seen from an online community. You guys are going to be a part of it because it's all gonna be vlogged on this channel. So be on the lookout for more videos because Ice T is back. And honestly, I can't wait to start making videos again. Last but not least, I appreciate all your guys' patience because I did kind of just go off into the sunset there for a while. Until the next video, peace out.